If you're starting for the USMLE, what are the top two cardiology equations that you must know? I'm gonna give you both of them. Cardiac output is going to equal heart rate times stroke volume. You gotta know this equation because the USMLE wants you to know that cardiac output is the electrical activity times the mechanical activity. Now, the USMLE can ask you, hey, what are the three determinants of stroke volume? That is going to be your contractility, your afterload, and your preload. Now, what's the second equation that the USMLE goes for? Well, many vignettes have a patient that is going to be hypotensive. You need to know what is blood pressure equal to. So mean arterial pressure, which is MAP, is equal to cardiac output times total peripheral resistance. It's the flow through the circulatory system times how tight the precapillary arterial is. Now, why is this important? Because if you are understanding the cardiac output equation, you can plug it into the blood pressure equation. So now cardiac output is going to be heart rate times stroke volume, and stroke volume is dependent on contractility, afterload, and preload. What concept can we now integrate here? Shock. Recall, let's say you have a patient with fever, hypotension, tachycardia. Well, the patient is in septic shock. Their total peripheral resistance is low and that is causing their blood pressure to be low. Let's say the patient has cardiogenic shock. Well, if they have heart failure with reduced ejection fraction, maybe their contractility is poor, causing their stroke volume to be poor and their cardiac output to be poor. And in atherosclerotic patients who have MIs, they can get cardiogenic shock and they can present with hypotension. So two equations, you got to know them, cardiac output and mean arterial pressure. Follow me for more high yield USMLA content to help you think like the test maker.